Hello world, I want to come to you today to talk to you about something I saw on the internet. There was a woman that posted, made a, a status on Facebook and said that, you know, sex is between husbands and wives, it's something supposed to be for marriage. And of course, if you don't believe in the word of God, you don't follow the word of God, you might you disagree with that. And that's fine, that's expected. You'll, you know, disagree with that. However, what I'm here to talk about are the Christians or the people calling themselves Christians that were in the comment section that were saying, show me the scripture. I'm a Christian. That's not true. That's not right. That's not in the Bible. What do you mean it's not in the Bible? What? Show me the scripture. Which scripture? Ephesians 5 and 3. Jesus talked about it in Matthew. It, Corinthians. Are you kidding me? Not in the Bible. And I had come in and I said, you know, this is this just goes to show how much the word is not being preached. That you get, and these aren't 12 and 15 year olds like on TikTok. These are grown adults on Facebook <laughs> that don't know that fornication is a sin. It's just, it's it's so sad because you know church leadership would rather coddle their congregations than speak the truth. And so, and there's plenty of blame to go around. You got the parents in the home that didn't teach it. You got church leadership that ain't teaching it. And then these people themselves ain't picking up a Bible and reading it themselves. Because eventually if you read it, you'd come across at least one of them. Because there's more than one. And it, you know, it's just, it's just so annoying because there's so many Christians that have, that believe that this is okay to do. That it's okay to fornicate. And these same ones will see Cardi B performing on the stage at the Grammys and say, oh no, that's wrong. The line has to be drawn here. And it's just kind of like you erased the line when you allowed it in the first place. Now you want to draw a line? And what, am I, what are you talking about, Katrina? Okay, when you allow sexual immorality in your home, when you allow sexual immorality in the church, do not be surprised when you see sexual immorality in the community. Okay, Cardi B is a worldly person doing a worldly thing. That is expected. That is expected. But it starts somewhere else. The people being okay with it and allowing it is the problem, is the issue. Okay, don't get mad because you smell the funk. Get mad at the thing that started the funk. Okay, but we allow it, we don't care. Churches don't care until it makes nationwide news and then we want to say something. Then we want to talk about it. But when it goes on in the church, you got pastors, ministers, deacons sleeping around with the women and the men and we don't care. We don't care because we want to do it ourselves. You got men and women coming in and out the home. Kids can't even get a relationship with a father figure or a mother figure or whatever, because you got so many going through the door. And then yeah, I want to talk about Cardi B. No, we got problems at home. We got problems at the church. We got problems in the community that needs to be addressed. Deal with that first. And before someone says, well, I'm pretty sure you're a hypocrite and that you've probably slept around. No, I'm a 35 year old virgin, proud of it. And the reason why I am is because I took the word of God and I applied it to my life. And that's something that we all should do because guess what? The more we apply the word of God, the more we apply morality, the less there will be immorality. Simple as that. Take it, leave it, love it, hate it. It is what it is. Amen? Amen.